Hey guys, welcome to today's video, life update time. I have some trial updates. I'm gonna share with you some Tati list stuff, some just general Q and A. So let's hop right on into the juice. I am caffeinated. It's a gloomy day here in Texas. It has been so thunderstorm crazy here. Uh, so it just felt like the right kind of a mood to do a Q and A. First off, I am so sick of doing trial updates. I want it to be done. It is not done. The dates have moved. It's that whole thing again. But let's start out with just some IG Q&A. You guys asked a lot of questions as per usual. So let's just kind of see what's going on. Did you ever find buy back your MIA wedding ring? No. Why Dallas, your smile goes so well with Cali. I don't even know what that means, but thanks. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, after I film this, I am filming a TikTok about the shadow that I was wearing in the LA Girl lip gloss video. I have been a little more active over on TikTok recently. You guys can follow me there. I'm doing like really just on the spot beauty reviews and it's a little bit weird. Like I feel like so throwback. And when people in the comments are like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in the early 2000s. I'm like, I know. I do too, because I love all the tacky makeup and we're here to chat about it and swatch it and be weird. So it's kind of like a cringy good time. I have to say the number one comment, I'm talking about like an amazing $6 gloss and every other comment was, can you tell me the eyeshadow shade you were wearing? Because it was so glittery and it is from Half Magic. I will list the shade below or like up here, but I am going to try that on in action over on TikTok. Current everyday skincare routine, just posted that on IG. I am working on an updated drugstore favorites in the skincare category video. I have been testing out a lot of cleansers, moisturizers, masks, serums, all the things that are drugstore. And I like doing that every once in a while because I mean, not all of us want to or can spend 50 plus bucks on a moisturizer and I totally get that. And I think there are amazing drugstore options. So that will be on the way. Subscribe, ring the bell. I want to start exercising. How do you keep motivated? You know, there's a quote from someone I was watching online and it so moved me. And I think about it all of the time, especially on the mornings when I don't want to work out because I will share with you, I am not the person that hops out of bed and is like, yes, I am so looking forward to pain. It's going to be fun for the next 45 minutes. I'm going to sweat. It's going to hurt. It's going to be kind of boring. It's like, Ooh, sign me up. Like, no, I don't want to, but I am trying to add life to my years. So someone was mentioning on like a health account, they're like, oh my gosh, like how miserable, like eating healthy and working out and you're, you know, what are you extending your life for if you're that miserable being this way? It was a really weird take on someone's healthy lifestyle and they responded in the most beautiful way. They're like, I'm not trying to add years to my life, I'm trying to add life to my years. And I think of that all the time when I'm trying to drink more water and sleep better and stress less and work out even when I don't want to. I want quality days in my life. I don't wanna feel like I'm in pain or things are falling apart. I look at my body as this vehicle that I have and I only get one and I better treat it right because eventually some things are going to start falling apart. But if I care for the vehicle now, hopefully she will still be cute as we drive on into the future. You know what I'm saying? And that motivates me. Ooh, gosh, you guys. Not a question, just thinking of you guys and your little four-legged angel looking over you. And then someone else says, will you get another dog? Um, oof, my puka shrine in the back. I think it might be kind of weird that I have his photo back there. I don't know, I, I like feel weird getting rid of it. Um, it's been really tough. I can definitely spiral out if I think of something for long enough, like coming home from anywhere is the worst. Oh shoot, I'm gonna start crying right now. Uh, does anyone know when you get over this? Because like, I do still cry about puka often, like oof, almost every day, if I'm being honest. Um, like literally, it's like the weirdest stuff will trigger me, like a thunderstorm where he would always like shake and he'd run up to me and I'd need to like comfort him. And I'd be kind of panicked too, because honestly, I don't really like thunderstorms, but I would be so focused on puka that I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, and it would help. And now I hear thunder and I'm just like, 
my little dog is nowhere to be found and it's super weird. Or like coming home from anywhere and him not greeting us is very, very weird. There's like this love that is missing from our home. That being said, I'm still in the grieving place where I'm like, I will never have a dog again. And I'm kind of, that's just where I'm at because I don't know. <sighs> Shoot, I love that dog so much. There will never be another puka shell. There just won't. There just won't. So yes, I am still struggling, but it is getting better. I love you all so much, but please with the pregnancy stuff, I ask this pretty often. Um, you know, people want to know about IVF. We're not doing that. People want to know, are you going to try natural medicine to get pregnant? I mean, outside of cycle syncing and a uh, prayer, it's just, it is what it is. And that's a tough one because I always thought I would be a mom. Like I really felt like that was my life's calling. And that's one area of my life that I can really, like if I feel like beating the crap out of myself and be like, if you hadn't made these decisions in your life, if you had actually chosen a different path and you hadn't chosen your career and maybe you hadn't been stressed out with YouTube drama and the litigation and ah, like all of that, I can make all of it my fault really quickly. And yo, that is such an unhealthy thing to do. Uh, newsflash. We can learn and grow, but none of us have a time machine that we can go back and be like, oh man, I know how to fix this. This pain in my life that seems to linger, I know I have it. We're going to hop on into the time machine and do everything different. Um, definitely I have regrets, but I'm honoring where I'm at and IVF is not an option for me. And who knows what the future holds. It is what it is. All right. Do you have veneers? Your teeth are so beautiful and white. I do. Um, but I am currently looking for white strips for the bottom teeth. I feel like, I don't know if it's the excessive tea that I'm drinking or what, but I want to whiten them. And a lot of you guys said Lumix. I think that's how you say it. Crest or Lumix. Lumi is probably something else. Those always slide off of my teeth, but you guys were saying to take a napkin and like dry your teeth. I didn't know you had to do that. So I am going to start using those, but uh, yes, thank you. I do have veneers and I love that I have them. Do you have tattoos? No, none. What's a couple of your favorite high protein snacks? Right now I am super into Noble is the brand name. I want everyone who's into this to know about this brand because I need them to thrive and succeed because I love their products so much and I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. It is not for the faint of heart. Everyone just brace yourself. It is like chocolate flavored organ protein and I love it. I super love it. James thinks it's so heinous and hideous and the idea of it, he just like literally is like plugging his nose and he couldn't drink it. I think it tastes like a chocolate milkshake. It is 21 grams of protein in a serving. There's nothing synthetic in it. It is colostrum, which is great for your skin and a grass-fed organ protein complex situation. I personally have such an issue with plant-based protein. Pea protein irritates my gut. I end up looking so bloated and feeling bloated. So any of the traditional plant proteins typically do not work out for me. Uh, and this has been really saving me. If I'm just like, I need some more calories. I need a quick snack. It tastes so good. And I feel like I'm doing something really healthy for my body, a lot of bioavailable nutrition, and I really like it. It's not for everybody, I get it. Totally get it, but I love it. Okay, someone does say, uh, how's your litigation going? Let's chat. I need to resituate for this. Okay, I'm still in it. I'm still in the fight. Uh, I, oh gosh, I just, I also get a little bit breathless when I talk about this subject. So I try not to as often as possible. And I try to stay as peaceful in my everyday life as I can possibly be. But this has now gone on for almost four years. Ridiculous. The trial has been moved to end of July, early August. Not thrilled about that. It was supposed to happen in March, but dates didn't meet up and it, the whole thing got pushed. I'm exhausted of this. Like, I'm so over this. I'm so over it. I'm over it. We did receive an email from Clark Swanson, the person who is suing us, 
And at this stage of the game, he's like, hey, here's an idea. Let's hop on the phone, no lawyers, and we can just talk about a settlement. I'm sure it will only take five minutes. I mean, what? I personally feel really uncomfortable with the idea of getting on the phone with someone who's suing me without lawyers. So we did respond back, you know, hey, if you have an offer for settlement that you want to send our way, go for it. We've heard nothing. So that tells me that trial is still on and will be happening end of summer. He's the one who decided to make this public by filing publicly. You can, if you are a company, handle these things like kind of family matters or, you know, the housekeeping matters, whatever you want to keep, your dirty laundry. If you want to keep this out of the public's eye and judgment, you absolutely can do that. And you can file a lawsuit sealed and then like duke it out behind the scenes. But Clark decided to make this public. And I'm now at the point where I'm like, you know, I have felt like I couldn't talk about this and now I want to because it has been a huge part of my life. This is not just a year long thing. This is being sued in four different states and having that loom over me for so many nights, just thinking about the time I lost, the money I lost, the trust issues I now have with people because this person was someone who was close to James and I, he was at my wedding. Um, so it's just, it's really crazy to be here right now and we're so close to the finish line. I am so ready for this to be over, but I'm starting to feel not so shy, timid and weak. I'm in it and I feel like I have a right to express how I feel about this. I'm not the one that made the first move. I did not throw the first punch and he decided to make this public and I'm a public figure. It's out in the open, here we are. <sighs> I feel like none of this had to happen. I feel like it was really unnecessary. And, you know, we shall see. We're going to head into trial. I don't think it's going to be fun. And I don't think it's going to be flattering for anyone. So I am preparing for that as best I can. It is kind of that like elephant in the room. And I just, I really look forward to what it will feel like to not have this like looming anxiety. It's like watching something from afar, like slowly come at you. And I feel like I might need a lot of therapy after this, you know, like I'm starting to see how this mentally impacted me in a negative way. I'm starting to really look at this and go, wow, like you had to be brave and fight and forgive and just move forward as best you could. And it's been a painful, painful, few years, like I felt like I was walking this path of being like forgiveness and like praying for your enemies and just really just being like, well, this is happening and like I surrender and like God's plan. And I'm struggling right now. I'm totally struggling with not being angry about this. Um, and this person caused me to lose a huge chunk of myself. Forget the business, a part of me that I don't know that I will get back. And now all of that anger is just coming up all at once. Like I shoved it down, kind of pretended like this wasn't happening. Um, but I feel freaking violated. Oh my gosh, the next question on here is, have you heard of the rapture? Woo! All right. Do you still talk to James Charles? No, I have not spoken to him since uh, before I posted Breaking My Silence in the summer of 2020. I have not spoken to him one time. No, I haven't spoken to any of them. None of them. Can you film a makeup declutter? Yes, you know what I'm doing? I'm gonna film kind of a makeup graveyard, but I'm gonna make them shorts and I'm gonna go drawer to drawer to drawer to drawer. I have big tubs that I bought at Target. I'm gonna put everything in, lay it all out, get really cutthroat with what I'm keeping and getting rid of because what you guys don't know, it looks really organized back here, but some of the drawers like won't even open because they are so filled to the brim with makeup. It's out of control. How are you? How is your mental health? Thank you so much for asking. I have a lot of support around me, thank God. 
Um, but obviously like not great. Like it's, it's not great. It's not amazing for me right now, you know, between my dog dying, litigation, being away from family, not getting pregnant. Um, it's just been rough, but whenever you go through these hard chapters, like there's a strength in you that cannot be purchased. There is something out of the brokenness because there's like brokenness too. Like you got to feel that and fall apart and it's painful. And like me just saying like, oh, I feel like there's a part of me I'll never get back. Yeah, because that part of me died off and I mourn her. I mourn her because that part of me was so innocent and I don't know how to trust people the same way again, but maybe that's a good thing because I let a lot of the wrong people in my life. And uh, I said yes way too often. I tried to help way too often and I did not have good discernment at the time. So that old part of me that was so naive that wanted to think everybody has great intentions, she's gone. Like she is gone. And there's a new part of me that is stronger, but going through it is still like, it's still painful. And it's like taxing on the mind. So I'm happy that I have my husband and family around me and a lot of support. But yeah, this is definitely, I'm being tested. Like this is a tough year, you know? You guys are the best because I can sit here and have a chit chat with you. And even though you're not in the room here, I feel your presence, especially through like all the questions and it helps. Like I swear, I know that sounds so weird, but it helps me so much whenever I film these videos. And like, even if I get like a little teary eyed or whatever, I end up feeling so good after, like so much relief. I would recommend to anyone when you're having one of these days where you're just like, oh my gosh, like just talk it out, call a friend. Um, yeah, thank you guys, it does help. It is now time for some Tati list updates. I have received a lot of the same questions over and over again, so I have them all listed out here so that nothing is missed. Many are asking, how do I enter the Tati List giveaways? I wanna let you guys know, if you are already signed up to the Tati List, you are automatically entered in every giveaway, all giveaways. They are always gonna be international and here in the US. We have a ratio right now, just for fairness. A lot of my audience is here in the US, but at least 20% of the giveaway winners are international. So we're sending product all over the world. All are welcome to enter. Is there a monthly fee? Absolutely no. There will never be a monthly fee. The Tati list is free to join and you will never have to pay shipping either. We take care of everything A to Z for our giveaway winners. Even uh, recently, we paid for customs over in South Africa. We literally are taking care of the full thing. So if you ever get an email or something saying like, hey, pay for shipping. No, that's not me. We charge zero. Is the Tati list just about giveaways? Absolutely not. We have very cool things planned for the future. This is about building community, having a space for us in the future that is not just any one platform. And right now what I'm able to do with brands that I love is bring you guys incredible limited time discounts and also do these incredible giveaways. Over the past month, I've been able to give away over $100,000 of free product and I'm really proud of that. I think it's a cool way to partner up with brands that I really, really love. And it's a way for everybody to get something back. I feel like this has been an ask for the longest time where people who watch beauty videos or they're on TikTok and they're watching those videos, they wanna know like, how can I feel involved in this? Like, how can I feel like I'm getting something too? Like I'm watching all these influencers be lavishly spoiled and this just makes sense. I feel like it's an awesome thing to be able to, in a way, leverage what I've built here with you guys to give back. My goal is for giveaways to be even more meaningful and bigger as we grow as a Tati List community. Are you working with an agency or a company to do the Tati List? Nope. It's just James and I, we're doing everything ourselves. Thank you for the compliment. A lot of you guys are like, wow, this is so cool. How are you doing it on your own? And for now, we just are, it's working well. How are winners selected? They are selected randomly. You do need to be on the list with a correct phone number and email address to be a winner. I joined and I'm not getting my emails. 
We had an issue for a minute where Hotmail accounts were being flagged as spam. That has since been handled. If you do have any issues in the future, please email support at the tatilist.com. I'm in the US and I have not received any texts. This sounds really scandalous. Like it sounds, it's like, it sounds like you're on like a watch list. No, you're not. You might be on a national do not call list. If that's the case, you're not getting the texts, then I encourage you to text join to 448284. I'm going over all of it. So like, let's just keep going. If you do text stop to any of the messages sent out, you will be removed from the Tati list. There are people that are like, well, but I still want to be on the list. But I, I did text stop because I don't want the messages. It's, it's a part of the whole thing. So if you are like, oops, I actually want to be back on this. It looks like something I want to be a part of. Then again, text join to 448284. Why is your SMS 448284? It says, hi, Tati. I think it's super cute. Um, yeah, so you can text 448284, and that spells out, hi, Tati, and you can text join to rejoin. I accidentally hit unsubscribe on the emails. How do I rejoin? You're going to send a message over to support at thetatulist.com that you would like to rejoin and we're happy to help. Ah! I feel like that was a lot of housekeeping. I also, I feel like I need some lip gloss. Oh my gosh, it talked so much, right? Okay, <sighs> we laughed, we cried, we talked about updates. I didn't think that I was gonna get as emotional in this video as I did, but thank you guys for being here with me. I love you all so much. Thank you for making the Tati list the success that it already is. I have big plans and I am so thrilled and I cannot wait to get all of the junk that is almost out of the way, out of the way, finally, latest. It's looking like August. I do have to say the Tati list has been such a beautiful distraction to a lot of the life, lifeness going on right now. Um, I can hear a cardinal outside, you guys. There are five cardinals in my backyard. It is the weirdest thing. Not to get like super spiritual or anything with it, but like looking up like that a cardinal is like a loved one. And there are five of them hanging out in my backyard. We had like one or two visit occasionally last year, but there are five and I just find it so interesting. I'm hearing them sing right now as I'm like closing out this video. Anyway, you guys are the best. I love you all so much. Thank you for being a part of my life, my journey, all of the things. If you're not on the Tati list and you want to join, info will be in the description box below. Other than that, go and have a great one, you guys. Whatever you are doing, I'm sending love and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.